What's up, y'all? Welcome back. It's your adventure artist, AJ Moore. And today, I'm looking for ants. Ants, ants, ants. Because there's a lot of different types of ants out here. So I'm trying to look along these rocks right here because sometimes you move a rock, there's ants. So join me and let's find us some ants. Because it's nature, y'all. Whoa, and we're off to the races. Our adventurer's in an awful hurry to find some ants. I don't think they're gone anywhere, nor are they chasing you. <laughs> All right, we have ourselves some acrobat ants down here. Acrobat ants. I gotta be careful because I don't want them to get on me because they can bite like, ugh. They like to live in rotting wood, any kind of wood with moisture in it especially structures like your house or buildings or stuff like that. And this particular type, the acrobat, loves to eat sweets. They got a sweet tooth, you know? So they eat honeydew that's produced by aphids. Now what happens sometimes, these guys will carry an aphid or a scale, anything that sucks from a plant. Like, and the aphid will get on the plant and they'll, and they'll produce a, a honeydew. So whatever the aphid eats and extracts, the ants love to eat that. They live in mixed colonies. The only ants in the colony that can reproduce are the ones with the wings. They have the red head and a big black booty. Oh yeah, and if you put your finger over them, that booty will go up. That means they're ready to attack you, so stay away from them. Look at them, look how they're just scrambling. See, they see my finger, see that raising that booty up? Ooh, look at that booty. Look at that booty. Yeah, that just means that they're warning me like I am going to sting. Ooh, look at that one. They're like I'm going to sting you if you come closer. But when that booty goes up, you better get gone. Acrobats. Whew, they do flips and stuff. No, they really don't do flips and stuff, but it's nature, y'all. No, they cannot do flips and stuff. The reason they're called acrobats is because they can raise their abdomen high in the air even above their thorax and their head. Very acrobatic-like. Okay, there's a rock right here. It's normally a good place to find ants underneath rocks and stuff like this. Let me see what's under here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now these right here, these are the yellow carpenter ant. Yellow carpenter ants. Look how they're moving those eggs away. A lot of people get these confused with citronella ants because they're yellow. But these are the yellow carpenter ant. Carpenter ants uh, belong to the genus Campanatus. Look how they're taking those ants down, those little eggs. Yellow carpenter ants are native to North America and they're rarely seen because they make colonies just like this underground. All the colonies, now these colonies develop rather slowly. Like the queen, she'll lay a batch of eggs, right? And those eggs, you know, they'll have time to hatch because she's gonna take a break. You know, cause she be, you know, she be getting tired and stuff. And she'll take a break for a couple of weeks or maybe even a couple of months. And then she'll lay another batch and then take another break. So she ain't trying to wear herself out, you know what I'm saying? But she'll have those eggs. So these colonies will develop slowly, but over a couple years, there'll be millions and millions of ants. They're really, really shy too. Now, just because they're called carpenter ants, they don't eat wood now. They just, they'll just tunnel through it. They'll make little tunnels and little homes. And what they eat is similar to the acrobat. Honeydew from insects like aphids and then sugary stuff from like fruits and stuff. And they'll also munch on some insects too, smaller insects or dead insects that they might find scavenging when they come out around dusk. But yeah, this is them right here. Uh, they're a beautiful ant. The small ones are called miners. And then you'll see the bigger ones. That one's called a major. You know, the colors are different. Now these ants, they don't really uh, bite like the fire ant or anything like that. 
Uh, I mean, they have mandibles, so they probably will bite you, but they don't have a stinger. So they're pretty peaceful ants, but I'm still not picking them up because I ain't trying to get bit. But that's the way they get down. They, they're beautiful ants, very slender too. So yeah, I'm just gonna gently put this rock back down, this little concave area, so to make sure I don't crush them. And we'll just let them be down here doing their thing. Just gently put it down. There we go. Ooh, yellow carpenter ant, baby, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Man, that was cool finding those ants. It's amazing what you find when you're just turning stuff over. And you know, you should do the same thing. Go around and look around for stuff. Just make sure you put it back though. <laughs> But these ants, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm standing up too high. You know, I gotta get down low, get low, get low, get low to the flow. Cause these ants, you gotta be able to see them. So, man, I'm down there crawling. Crawl looking around for them. Sometimes you just see like trails and little mounds. Look at this. Look at these leaves right here. This is, I think this is what I think it is. All these little cuts of leaves. This is a whole trail and it leads all the way down. We gotta follow this. Ooh, this is gonna be good. So, the road once followed was called the Yellow Brick Road. Now, we'll have to follow this green one to find the wizard or something. This is fantastic. These are Texas leaf cutter ants. Texas leaf cutter ants. And this is a whole colony. They like to build their colonies in like sandy loam dirt, which is perfect for out here. These things can go from 15 to 20 feet down. So it's like a cave under there. You're probably wondering why are these ants carrying leaves anyway, right? Like why do they carry leaves? Can't they just go eat somebody's picnic? No, they won't. They're using those leaves. They're harvesting fungus. They take the leaves down into the mound and the fungus starts growing on the leaf. And these, these ants love to eat that fungus. That, oh, that fungus, it tastes so good. Oh, they could be a really, really pest if you're a farmer, because they can destroy a citrus tree in like 24 hours. Look how strong they are. They're carrying pieces of leaves that are like maybe three or four times their weight, if not more than that. It would probably be equivalent to you picking up a car, carrying it. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna eat this car for later. There's like six to seven queens per mound. So some of these females gotta go make their own mound. So what they do, they'll fly out. And uh, this is between April to June. They'll fly out and the males will fly out too. The males have the smaller heads, females have the bigger heads. And they both have wings. So they're flying around, they're fl they'll mate. And then the male will eventually just, just die right after breeding, right after it. Sorry, fellas, that's it's nature, y'all. So the male's gone and the female loses her wing. Well, actually, she just does not lose her wings. She bites them off, gnarly. So she has to go down into the ground and start a colony. And she'll immediately start laying eggs, hundreds and hundreds of eggs, these colonies have over two million ants. Two million ants. That's just this one. All right, let me get out of here before they start cutting me because I'm getting too close. So I'm following these, these ants here. The whole nother colony, whoa. And they're leading along, they're carrying little leaves and stuff. And they're all the ones out here doing the, all the work. Cause all they do is work, 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 work. All they do is work, 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 work. That's all they do all day long. Carrying little leaves to go make the fungus. Ah. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Found you. All right, so I found another colony, and this time they're actually moving stuff out. I guess something came through and knocked in the dirt and stuff because they're leading down that way. It must be a whole nother one, but this one's right along the side of the road. Oh, cars are coming, thank goodness. But look how they built all this little gravel up right here. Of course, this is another colony right here. They're carrying stuff, so let's see what else we can find. There may be a bigger one. It's another trail here. Another trail of leaf cutters. And they're leading, they're leading, leading, leading. Coming all the way over the concrete over to here. Look at that. And I wonder, is this all the same colony? Just all connected under here? Or are all these truly different colonies? I guess I'll never know. I don't speak ant, but let's keep looking. I didn't think I would find an actual mound. And they're throwing the dirt chunks over the side and chucking them over. I didn't know they built them up like this, but since this uh, sandy loam dirt here, this is perfect for what they need to make a good mound. Cause you can compact it really, really good. And they're just making chunks, throwing them over. Look at them. They're going all the way down and up this tree. This is where the tree has a V right here and they're carrying the leaves. They really, really like these leaves on this tree. And they have these really large uh, mandibles. Mandibles. And that's what they use to cut off the leaves. So when they call them leaf cutter, they take that, that mandible and they cut that leaf off and they can snip it. They can snip it right at the base of the leaf. Now, some will take bigger leaves, some will take smaller, and then some will just take stems. I see some carrying stems here, but if you look up the tree, they are going all the way up. Another thing about when you're up high, you really see the devastation that they do. This tree at the top is damn near bald headed. That's because they've raided it and then they shred it all the leaves just stripped it almost clean now the tree will recover but it's going to take it a while so these guys are going to eat their feel and then the tree will have a chance to recover but for right now we're going to follow this trail and see where else it leads look at them all all they do is work. All they do is work, 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 no matter what. Got leaf cutting on their mind. They can never get enough. And every time they come out of the trees, all the little leaves go up and they stay there and they carry them and they carry on them all day long. All they do is work, 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 no matter what. Look, they're going all the way down. Leafcutter ants are considered the oldest farmers on earth. Yes, they've been farming even longer than us humans. They have been farming and harvesting for over 50 million years with the same strategy of all the female workers traveling up to a kilometer away to gather leaves to grow their precious fungus. Wow. Here we are again, back with our friends, the leaf cutter ants, and they're still hard at work. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, y'all. It was great, and the ants know it too, because it's nature, y'all. Hope to see you on the next one. So you guys want to help me out a bit? I need you to do three things for me. 
I need you to like, comment, and subscribe because that really helps out the channel and I want to keep making more nature videos for you. So thank you.